Julianne Campbell from Radio Hi, City is with hello. us. How are you doing? Here's a kiss. On Thank your other you. side, so you've got I've matching got kisses. Right, yeah. Bill, <laughs> tell me about this outfit first of all. Aren't you knackered it's wearing so this? Heavy. It's so heavy. Pick this up. Have a little go. My God. It's so Weighs heavy. a ton. There's just layers and layers and layers of clothing, but uh, it's nice. It's winter. We need to keep warm. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. So this set is incredible. How Outrageous, long does it, does it isn't take it? to come up with something like this? Well, this started moving in last week. I think it's taken like a week to get just, I think there's like 16 trucks or something daft that come with set and costumes. I mean, I think there was a truckload of just hats. Oh my God, look at this. It's fabulous, isn't it? So you play Princess Jasmine. I do, indeed. Now, I'm thinking Aladdin might be round here somewhere. He's just over there is putting it? his shoes so you don't on. find him. Oh. And there he is. Ray Quinn is over here. Come over. Putting your slippers on, Ray. How are you doing, mate? Oh, you yeah, okay? Yeah. Second good, time good. Panto in the Empire. Yes. Okay, so what, what made you come back? It must have been amazing last time, Peter uh, Pan. Oh, it was brilliant last time. We had so much fun. So, uh, And the audience are great, you know what I mean? So... It's good to be back with a, a great cast once again and uh, another great show. And you get to kiss Leanne Campbell? Well, we come close a couple of times, yeah. aren't we, kid? But we get interrupted, so um, you never know. It doesn't actually happen till press night. Yeah. Until press night, so no. you're saving the yeah. kiss. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No She's been kissing you already, right? I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> you know I'm mean? blessed. You're one um, step ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the Empire, because it's legendary for Pantos, isn't it? Oh, yeah. This, this is the one that people think of straight away when they think of the Liverpool Panto. And it's an all Liverpool cast, which is different to the other ones. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it keeps it... I think Liverpool people like to see... Liverpool people on the stage, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just one of them. We like our own, and um, it's the best theatre in the world, I believe. So, uh, you know, it's good to be home with my family as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm really excited, and I know the first week is sold really, really well. So, it's going to be a fantastic kickstart to yeah, Christmas. Yeah, definitely, definitely. What about Christmas? Do you miss anything over Christmas? Do you get Christmas Day off? We what? miss everything yeah. because we have Christmas Day off and New Year's Day. Um, so we miss everything so we sort of move our families in don't we? So <laughs> Christmas Eve we have a couple of shows Christmas Eve yeah. and Ray's little one will be here and my two little kids will be here we have a little party upstairs yes. so we with the kids. Yeah. A little, uh, you know, <laughs> the biscuits and we, all that. We bring a buffy, we all bring something each for the buffy, don't we? <laughs> yeah. So uh, so someone will bring like, you know, the drinks, someone will bring snacks, someone will bring ribs. We yeah. had all kinds of sushi oh, and everything. Yeah, we had all kinds of It was quite year. swanky last year, yeah. yeah. So we're looking Extra forward special, to that. You know, yeah. really? Marcy's special. <laughs> oh, see, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, are you are you knackered by, by the time Christmas comes? By by January, are you just uh, thinking, oh. No, do you know what? I, we're blessed, really, because it's not a massive, like, long run normally. Mm. Like, you know, when I first started doing Panto, it was like five, six weeks long, you know, whereas this is like, you know, three and a bit. So it's really not a big um, a haul, but it's all the same. It's a great show. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the script's really funny, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We have a couple that. of nights out that break out. Oh, yeah. Rondo. It just breaks it up a little yeah, bit. Absolutely. We'll have a couple of mad ones. Too. Imagine being <laughs> hungover wearing that. Town, come and have a drink yeah, with us. Dress like that as well. <laughs> Tell us, I'm asking everyone this, why why this theatre? Why should people come here? We've been to three others. We've been to St. Helens, New Brighton and the Epstein. Why the Empire? Oh, Jay, look at it. Turn that camera yeah, around. Turn that camera look around. Are you having a laugh? I think this is the biggest Why theater? waste your time and your money? Get down to the Empire and this come is proper see. Panto Wars. Come and see a I'm proper show. Proper <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, Pete Price is somewhere. You need to, to come and come and help me find him. Are we okay. going to yeah, find Yeah, we've got to find him. Ray, thank going you. For a walk. Enjoy. <laughs> Take care, mate. Come on. Come on. This way, you show me the way with your big dress on. Come on. So we've got to find Pete Price. We want to find a dame as well, if possible. Come on, camera guy, keep up. I'm scared I'm going to trip on your dress and know, rip it or something. That'll make a good so show. So how much would this cost, this dress? This dress, it's, it's thousands of pounds worth really? of costume, yeah. Oh I God. think even like at the Empire, your shoes are sort of measured, you're measured for shoes, so they draw around your feet. And then they're sent somewhere in London to, to like make shoes just for your feet. So it's a big deal, isn't it? It's not as So well. let's talk about you. Obviously, Radio City Breakfast going yes. really well with yeah. Dave. <gasps> yeah, it's you bad. Know, getting up at five in the morning and then doing this all day. Yeah, in between. We're, oh, hang on, where are we going? We'll be finding Pete. Where are we going? Right, next one up. Sorry. Come on. Yeah, in between, we've got like Mission Christmas going on. We had Radio City Christmas Live last night. So it's just non stop. So in between shows, I'm sort of off with Dave picking so up presents. Do you get to sleep? No, not at all. Come on. No, no, come on. God, I'm knackered already. Okay. He's my neighbour. We live so next you're next door to the end. Hands dressing room. You there? Are you dressed? You're not naked, are you? Now this, this was, wow. Pam, this was Pamela Anderson's bed. So Peter's robbed Pammy's bed? Yeah, from when she so was So this is her. just your dressing room, Pete? This is my dressing room, and this 
is the candlelit bedspread I had when my mother was alive when I was 12. It goes with me everywhere. <laughs> can I sit on this? Of course you can sit on it. Oh, that's a comfy bed. That was where Pamela used to rest her breasts. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually there. So, so obviously you need that bed. I have to. In between to. radio yeah. shows. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, it's important. This is uh, the same dress now I've had for years now. Yeah. And this lady's next door. And when her children come to visit, if they scream, there's trouble. He I've bangs got on the wall to yeah. me, shut the kids up. I've got a baby underneath, Claire's baby. And we, she's quiet when she's breastfeeding, so that's all right. <laughs> but this is it. And this is my home. We have a bathroom. And this year, no one costume. Which is fantastic. So you're not a dame this year? Are no, you I'm, missing I'm not the being emperor. a dame? No, I like being emperor. I like the power. You know, she's my daughter. She's subservient and she's very good. <laughs> and uh, she goes and fetches for and carries minutes. for me. And um, But the only thing is, and I'm going to tell you now publicly, I'm not very happy with her, with Aladdin. Because he's a bit of a slag on the side. Oh, really? Well, he's pulling a genie. He's been after the dancers. And he's just, you know, that's in the show. If his wife's right, listening, so that's Ray in Quinn the show. That's life, not Ray no. Quinn, he's that's Aladdin. A bit of a one. And he wants, he's, he's right. he, wants, he wants my daughter. He can have her now he's got the money, but then when the money goes, he can, <laughs> on his bike. Juice, is there plenty of songs in this? Is a whole new world uh, in it? No. Is that, Do you know, that's Aladdin, isn't it? Yeah, we took a couple of guesses. I know me and uh, Quinn. We're texting each other, guessing what our little duet would be. And we were way off the mark. Yeah, go on, what it's is it? not your traditional stuff. It's like all the big number ones from the past year. So every single song you can sing along. We've got like... Um, oh, yes, yeah, great song. Especially the, um, Burrell, one, direction, the one, one Direction. One Direction. But you know you mentioned that. It's very interesting that you can't use uh, Disney songs. Oh, really? Oh, no, 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 no. You pay a fortune to use a Disney song because they have their own shows. Yeah. So once again, it's all about copyright mm. and, uh, you know, you, you sort of... You, you, you just can't. You, you can't do that. Let's talk about all your lines you've got to learn, because I've seen some of your scripts in the past. Yep. They're huge. How do you learn all these lines for Panto? My line's not, mine's not so bad, and I never remember. <laughs> She'll tell you. It doesn't. Seriously. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I'm terrible. You'll never get the same line, so right? So does someone help you when you're on stage if you get it wrong? She does. Me. Right. <laughs> yeah, so it's different every so night. you've got to learn Pete's script, script and your script. Well, yeah. sort of, yeah. We, I like it. I like us flying by but the But I tell you what, though, this lady did something that I really like, and I never thought about it. Leanne Campbell used to annoy me, because I've worked with her since she was a little girl, and she's always word perfect, word perfect. Which Professional, first you day, know, Jay. First proud. day, of course. really annoys me. She, this time she wasn't, and she put it into perspective. As a broadcaster, and you're a broadcaster as well, as a, and we are, as a broadcaster, when you're given a script, you look at it, and you're told to put it in your own words. All of a sudden, she realises now, that I've been doing it for so many years, that's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. Yeah. It's a radio thing. We make the words up. As you go along. Yeah. I do. along with that. We like Not to be creative. I do. I get Let's it. talk about the things that go wrong on stage. Sets falling down, costumes coming off. Yeah. You know, them moments like Janet Jackson had one time. Yeah. Have you ever had anything like that? Yes. In the Empire as well, it was a, a touring, because I did theatre for when I was little. That's That was what I did. And I was in a touring production of Jungle Book. And we had to turn into, I think we were turning into monkeys in this scene. We were like sort of village people and then we did a routine and we turned into monkeys. And just before the scene actually happened, I stood up and my pants fell off. Oh so I was left just in tan tights and a thong. To which you've got to react, you've got to do something. So I pretended to turn into a monkey and turned it into a little routine. Brilliant. It was fabulous. Sorted. But what these you? things happen. You're being serious, how long's the programme? <laughs> I think the best one, well, the two best ones, one which we're doing now, Aladdin, which she doesn't know, the last daughter uh, in Aladdin, because I played this with Pamela Anderson, Aladdin, I have to go, Jasmine, and he goes, what's your name? That's your name. Yeah. And I shouted, that's your name. And he went, what? Because I cocked the line up. Because I didn't say Jasmine. Shouted, oh, I right. shouted to him, which cocked up the whole scene, because I shouted, what's your name? And he says, I have to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the best one ever, I learnt the whole uh, script for um, Buttons at the Royal Court, and I came down the stairs to this day, I don't know why, and I did the whole script from last year's Aladdin as Wishy Washy. In right. Cinderella? In Cinderella. Nice. Dressed as Buttons. And everyone went, what? And everyone was collapsing. And I'm going, what are you saying? <laughs> Lost the plot completely. So you completely changed roles? I don't know where it came from. It just blanked in. Yeah. And last year's script came in. <laughs> and it was just, 
Dear, I thought it was hysterical. The band yeah. were playing uh, A Pretty Girl is Like a Melody, and I'm doing... Do you know, I think when things go wrong, I know when I've watched Pantos, I love nothing more. It's the best more. thing, isn't it's it? Just, well, if scenery falls down, even better. Yeah. It's fine, as long as no one gets hurt. Yeah. Or just not being hurt badly. Stage, then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just remembered when I did uh, Ugly Sisters with uh, Mickey Finn, I couldn't take him serious. I was a Christmas tree, he was a Christmas pudding. I've seen that one. Right. Yeah. And I had to go down the stage in a Christmas tree yeah. and tripped and went in the pit where the, the musicians are, upside down, stuck in the Christmas tree. They couldn't get me out. And I had to stay there <laughs> till the end of the show. <laughs> so you do you know what? That's what that? you could do with him yeah. when he gets a bit annoying or... He forgets his yeah, lines. Grumpy, put him, put him in a Christmas down. tree. Yeah. She can't, she can't. I'm the emperor. Oh, yeah. She's my daughter. I've got the power. I've got the money. Go I've got the checkbook. Right. Can we go and find the genie of the yes, lamp? Yes, Will she be about? Pete Price, oh, I hope thank she's you. not breastfeeding. We're going to chat to you in a second. I hope she's not breastfeeding. Oh, really? Let's You'll have an exclusive there if she is. It. Thank you, Pete. Thank That's you, awesome. Emperor. All right, where are we off to now? We're going to daughter tonight. Okay. <laughs> Get off Pete's right. bed. That's amazing. Okay. Right, so we're going to find Claire Sweeney right. now. Claire Sweeney's dressing room. Are we okay to go in? Are we all right to come in? Come in. Here we go. You all right? Yeah, is the baby here? Oh, no. He's gone. No, he's at my mum's. Hello, Miss Sweeney. How are you? Are you okay? Good to see you. Good to see you. So you play the genie. I'm is a it? Genius. Is that a nice role to play? It must be. You must do a lot of standing like that. I do a lot of standing, and do you know what? My arms are killing me actually. So I'm kind of nice trying. Nice big muscles now. I'm, well, I'm trying to find comfy ways to drop my arms and do it <laughs> and keep me cleavage. Are you having fun? <laughs> are you having fun in the empire? Is it, is yeah. Your first time yeah. Yeah. Your covers and lippy who's been on this you. Is Leanne and Pete is Price. Yeah, uh, yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. You enjoying it? Oh, it's great. Well, the last time I was here doing panto, I was 17 years of age, wow. and it was my very first panto. I was Prince Charming when they used to have principal boys. Yeah. Show me there aren't I and um, it's good to be back doing panto here again I mean I've been performing here since I was same as Leanne like 10 11 years of age wow. used to do Joseph as a kid so every time I walk up those stairs I thought god the times I've done this journey well it's different now because you've got a little baba Jackson has I arrived have. I mean if you look there you can see nappies so see baby here. wipes Rattles, my breast pump. Is, is Jackson, oh, the glamour. You, the, the you want to see a genie pumping milk out of a breast. It's <laughs> it's a fabulous sight. Oh, can we film anyway. that one day? <laughs> uh, so Jackson's been okay. It's, it must be fun having the baba backstage. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's, uh, Leanne's, I call her the baby whisperer. Yeah. She's been incredible with the baby, helping me. When I've had to go and do scenes, I mean, she's been brilliant, as has Pete Price and Jane. I've seen a few photos with Pete with the baby, Grandad Pete. Yeah, well, nice the, well, see. it was quite lovely. The baby projectile vomits over oh, Pete. Really? But the baby's got used to Pete now, but every time he says, like, wow. Must be something he says. So listen, have fun, enjoy. Thank We're asking you. everyone, because we've been to four different theatres uh, all around. We've been to New Brighton, we've been to St. Helens, and also the Epstein. Now here at the Empire, why is this the best? Oh, it's the best. I mean, traditionally, the Liverpool Empire does the best pantomimes. One of the best in the country, actually. We've got all local homegrown talent. Uh, it's a good Scouse panto. It's, I mean, Joe Spear is the most incredible genie of the lamp. I used to party with him in Kirkland's years ago. We've got P. Price, we've got Leanne, we've got Ray. So it's all, you know. And we've got Jackson. Jackson, yeah. yeah. Biggest star of the show. Oh, he's wonderful, yeah. Well, listen, thanks for chatting. And then my Enjoy. milk pump is the biggest star yeah, of the show. Yeah, your milk pump is the biggest star of the show. Can you get a credit for that milk pump at yeah. the end, please? Claire Sweeney, thank you. Enjoy. Pleasure. Lovely thank to you. see you. Thank Some you lippy off you in. now as well. Do you know what? I don't know how you cope. I am knackered. My shins it's are hard killing work, me. Isn't it? Those Up and stairs. down the stairs. You must lose some weight after panto. You do. I think last year we all lost a stone each. My God. It's outrageous. It's very good fun. I can eat loads of chocolates. <laughs> you nearly said something <laughs> else then, didn't you? <laughs> loads of rubbish. Um, so, this is the Empire. The stage is set. We're ready to go. Yeah. Um, by the time this goes out, you will have started and you'll yeah. probably be knackered. I but know. It's all good. It's great. We've got a live band. Look at them. They've oh, gone on the so that's where the band They've play? They've got a live band. See, I'd be Look scared I'd fall over that. Full houses, most shows, so be quick with your tickets. We've got the best set you'll ever see and a cast who are having an absolute ball. And I think that shows Definitely. when when the cast get on really well, which we always do with the Empire, mm. uh, we just have a laugh. Everyone's really laid back and the audience seems to pick up on it. So fingers crossed, just like last year, we'll have good reviews and, and the audience will really get involved. So. And we've got a breast pump. We do we have a breast pump. The breast pump. The only panto in town with a milking genie of the yeah. ring. <laughs> <laughs> How random. <laughs> Leanne Campbell, thank you. Enjoy the pants out mm, and thanks, good luck Jay. with Radio City. Thank